guys, this is Little Twinkster, and today I'll be discussing my view on this new ocean land. So as many of you already know, Animal Jam has kind of been hinting at adding another ocean land. Uh, maybe something that, that that has to do with Peck and Zeos. Um, and I'm going to talk about that before the update comes out tomorrow, because just in case there was something about it in the update. And one way that they've been hinting at another ocean uh, land is by these battles, which I have not opened this one, so let's go ahead and do that. Here's this little dude, which Julian 2 thinks is a dolphin, because it's got the same dolphin eyes. Anyways, it says, We recently overheard the rotten phantoms discussing their wicked plans. Dot, dot, dot. They're always like, you would think that they would, if they were really captured and they wanted to be sending a message, they would actually tell you something that you didn't know what to do with. Paint splotch welcome map. Okay, you know, this is a lot like this paint splotch stool. It seems to be hinting something like Peck, because she's the creative one. Or maybe the two cans, because they're creative too. Possibly, if Peck did betray us, um, or if she was out of the game for a while, if she was captured or something, the two cans would replace her. Now, I really don't think that Animal Jam would uh, betray her in this game, because, you know, what, it's, it's still a kid's game. I don't think they'd do that to themselves. Uh, but she might be out of the picture for a while. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about this new land. So many people think that it's going to be here. And the big reason that I think that they're going to do something with this is because they moved this little bar that used to have all the icons. The icon just used to be up here. Um, but now they moved that. And obviously if they're going to implement something right here, they would have to get that, that out of the way. So that's a pretty big sign. By the way, have you ever noticed that there's um, water running through Coral Canyons on the map, even though there isn't actually any in Coral Canyons? Actually, I didn't before either. I just noticed that just now. I seem to notice things like the most when I'm recording videos. Um, but anyway, I think that it also might be something with this right here. This You can't really see when I wave a mouse over it. But this little patch, it almost looks like an island to me. The first time I saw it, I thought it was some kind of entrance between uh, Bahari Bay and Kanai Cove. Um, but if you open on, if you click on it, it will just bring you... Actually, I forgot where it brings you. Okay, it'll bring you to Bahari Bay. Um... That kind of does look like an island to me. It seems like it's some kind of an island and off of Crystal Sands. It's got a little bit at the edges. I can't really click. I really can't uh, point with this. But it's kind of got a sand color. And in the middle, it's kind of got a green kind of a forest thing. So I think they might be doing something with that. So everybody's always saying, oh, the bottles are probably washing up from somewhere out here. That's where Peck is trapped or Greeley's trapped. Or, you know, Animal Jam hasn't been too specific on that. But these are just some conspiracy theories. But really, if I think that there were bottles floating around from somewhere out here, it would probably be landing in Coral Canyons, not uh, Crystal Sands, which it really has to travel through Kanai Cove and Bahari Bay to get over here where most of the bottles have been found. So I am thinking maybe that instead of opening something up in here, which I do still believe that they will do eventually because of the, because of the fact that they moved this, but I think that they'll open it up in this little island instead. And still on the topic of the oceans, I'm going to talk about the one that I think is the most populated, or the one that gets the most visits each day, and that would be the Deep Blue, and here's why. So, you know, sometimes you'll be clicking on your world map, and sometimes you'll instantly like, double-click it or something, and your mouse will still be on here, so it'll bring you right to the Deep Blue. I haven't told you how many times I've had to stop recording because I've accidentally done this. So I do think that the Deep Blue gets plenty of accidental visits a day. Okay, so that's pretty much all I want to say, but before I end up the video, I just want to mention something else. So in GM War Furniture, I was here talking with my buddy, Louis Seal. Uh, she's one of my subscribers. I'm subscribed to her. She has a YouTube channel, too. Uh, you know, while I'm talking about her, I might as well link her channel in the description. Anyways, so I was in here talking with her, and I kind of noticed this little sign. It says sale, and I did enlarge this uh, in a Google presentation thing. So I enlarged this to see what it says, and it says... Everything you need for your den. Uh, so this little sign, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I never really noticed that before. I wonder what that says. And I go up and look at it, and look at this. You can walk right behind it, actually. Like, this is a, a layering glitch right here. I mean, it's not all this. That's not um, all that big. But I figured it might as well involve it in this video for you guys. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my next video. Bye, my Twinksters.